Good morning. I've been hearing about the Jeffrey Fairies for years now from a friend of mine, and I invite myself to see my first cruise with y'all. Welcome. I'll uh, do the post cruise survey, and I've had nothing but nice things to, I mean, like, hands down, incredible. Um, my question is, is, is there a way that I can get like a five or a ten minute tour where the captain navigates the ship? Oh yeah, the bridge tour. They, uh, unfortunately due to COVID restrictions, they've eliminated all ship tours. They used to offer limited tours for a fee of the, um, the engine room and the sort of the underworkings of the ship. I don't, I think it's been quite some time since they've offered the bridge tour either way, but certainly since COVID, unfortunately, even even for us cool people, we don't get to go see the bridge anymore. Um, uh, but they, but they, I have a feeling that once COVID loosens up, they'll go back to doing the tours of the other parts of the ship. Because, it, I mean, it is kind of amazing. In some ways, the bridge is the least interesting place. The bridge is like this very open, empty space with a lot of computers and a bunch of guys just kind of sitting around drinking coffee. It's a very, and one pirate. It's, it's, one pirate. Pirate. It's, it's part pirate. maritime law. There's one pirate has to be on the bridge at all times. But but the, I mean obviously you know when you think about what it what it takes to actually do this, I'm always amazed that they put food on the table that comes so fast and is as good as it is for so many people every night in several different venues. And that's just the food. And then you think of all the all the water. Handling and the electricity and the AC and the uh, laundry. laundry and the w waste waste management is just like it's crazy. I mean, you see the space efficiency that goes into doing it because there is not a, a square inch of the ship that they do not want to use to its maximum. And then every Saturday they turn it all over in about three hours. That's right. So yeah, I, it, it, you know, if you do come back, uh, I, I hope that you have those other tours. And I hope you take them because it's, it is super cool to go and see how some of this stuff works. Because there's a whole, there's a whole like secret half of the ship that we don't see. It's like Disneyland behind the behind the fences is the, all the stuff that makes it go. It's really pretty cool. Yeah, as soon as you exit the like carpeted part of the ship, you just remember, oh, I'm in a giant steel box <laughs> that is full of people running around as fast as they can to like make a special dessert. <laughs> in the past, I've gone on cruises with my dad, and he's a seaman, so uh, my dad would say, to us, go this way, and yes. we'd sneak through, yeah. and we'd through, you know, we'd run into somebody, and then next thing you know, we're getting a tour of the kind of sea. Yeah. For, for the record, don't just go through any door that says crew on it, <laughs> even if you think it's the quicker way to be the case. They do have a lot of cameras. <laughs> yeah, that's the door to the brink. Yeah.